Hello guys, welcome back. Today we will be configuring superset that we installed in last video. So this is going to be our second video in the series of superset. In the configuration, we will go through these following things. First one is setting up app name, then setting up logo, favicon icon, loading animation and color theme. Again, for this entire configuration, I have created a GitHub repository where you can find all the commands and all the steps that we have. And along with that, I have added some few uh, threads for further details. For example, if we find so for someone already raised this question and their documentation page and even supersets code where you can actually see how they have implemented this and how we need to implement it as a good practice. So let's deep dive into it. So the first part is configuring our app name. So if you can see the app name is configured currently as superset. So we will go to this. For that we need to go to opt. Uh, sorry, it is inside our app directory app superset. And we already have configuration file which is superset config dot db. So I'll just open it config dot py file and in this configuration we will be doing most of our things so the first part that we are going to do is we are going to name place our app name here let me paste it and save it and close it so if you have seen i have placed my reporting application as name now we need to restart our superset server so i'll quickly restart it Okay, so this superset is restarted. Now we can check if it is renamed. So you can see the superset application is reported and my reporting application name is, available, is, uh, is now here. Okay, so we just renamed our superset configuration, uh, superset application name. Now we will setting up our logo. So what is what will be replaced? So this is superset logo. We want our company logo here instead of this. So for that, uh, for this you need to go to this place uh, and uh, place the folders I, I, I'll just change this path I have uh, updated it in VS code but I uh, just didn't commit here I, I'll, I'll do that for that I'm using filezilla I'll go through each individual folder so I have these kind of things placed here how we are going to place it I'll just show you so we will go to app our superset superset environment in superset environment our libraries that is lib in lib we have python 3.8 our site packages in site packages we need to find superset because all the packages that we are going to use are going to be here so let's find superset here is our superset in superset you will find a folder called a static so why we are placing it here because all the images that we are looking for should be available publicly and this directory is going to be static and it is available publicly so inside this you can see already they have created a stat assets page uh, for directory inside this asset directory there is images so ideally we should place our images here so i have created a new directory uh, i want to rename it i'll just okay let it be i'll delete it and create new directory okay or let it me let me rename it so i'm going to rename it as my company images so you can see and inside this i'm going to place my company images so i have uploaded that folder uh, that image here so it is available here now but when in configuration file i want to specify i am not going to specify entire path i am going to specify from static because uh, superset knows okay we need to go from static so it is going to select from here so let me copy it and uh, paste it here before we do that we need to copy a few things that is this where is the name here so i have copied the name i'm going to place it here 
also uh, we need to direct define or uh, change our director name which is going to be available here so my company images let me save it oops not this save this save okay so as that reboot takes time so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy one by one this thing so what we're going to do I, i'll just copy it and explain what each and everything uh, is going to be so let me just paste it here so you can see logo target part so what it says when someone clicks on logo what where we need to redirect we can direct to our our company's website so ideally not ideally but usually logos redirect to the uh, home uh, directory or, or home page of our company so you can configure currently we are just going to keep it like okay it will go to our home page or welcome page then logo tool tip so whenever someone hovers our company's logo what it should show and logo right text so this i haven't tried i'll also i'm just trying first time but ideally what it does is it uh, writes this thing after logo so we will see what it does usually no one uses this i mean i have used in power bi but not sure here and let me reboot restart the superset service again and <coughs> let's see again it is going to take some time okay now we will do debugging part as well so basically before we know something wrong happened so we are going to stop our service so i am going to stop it and i am going to run it manually so how to run run superset dot sh so it is going to run it now we can refresh to check what we get as an error so let's see what happens okay what it says is that uh logo right text something is wrong with string my department name let's try this if this works then i when i copied it from this uh, configuration file i copied declaration as well when thinking about why i'm placing that one okay let's run it again and check yeah so now you can see this is our logo and this is our department name that is going to come after your uh logo and now you can see when you hover it shows my app name and then my reporting application so now everything that we configured is appearing here i'll update this uh, github once uh, the recording is over okay so let's quickly move to next thing that is favicon icon so to set favicon icon again i'm going back to filezilla and i'm going to copy the favicon icon from here to this uh, assets directory that we just saw and it uploaded okay let me again rename and copy the okay we will have to copy it once we copy it okay then i'm going to close it i'm going to stop the server okay let's start our service now we know what is the issue now we can safely start service and we are going to then copy go back to our this uh, configuration and i'm going to copy this entire thing and placed it here and inside images we know what we need to copy we are going to copy this paste it here and did we copy directly yeah so let me copy the name okay then we are going to restart the superset service okay till then till the service restart i am going to uh, go ahead and just talk about how we are going to change it loading screen so what loading screen means whenever we do whenever we go somewhere there is a superset logo appears here that shows okay this is loading or something like that so 
even that superset logo we need to change in that case we have to replace the image or logo that they have shared so if i go back and you can see in loading you can see there is a loading.gif so they don't have any option as of now to replace it using constant so what we can do is we can just go ahead and replace this with loading.gif that we have so you, if you go to the github you can see i have already written a note that this is not a foolproof method sometime it works sometime it doesn't i mean sometime it while loading it shows that okay this is loading sometime it doesn't shows and uh, it go back to the original superset logo that we see so let's move to our last part so uh, in color themes i have added a few things details so you can customize it i'm not going to do like uh, setting up colors primary secondary and everything i just randomly selected some things randomly selected some fonts weights and everything you can configure it and for further details you can see that uh, we have to one this is entire detailed descri uh, description on superset they have written it like how to improve your theming and uh, so on and this is the index.tsx file where you can find entire details so you need to fix some uh, do some fixes because this is in typescript uh, tsx files i guess it is typescript or something and uh, you need to config so we are doing on all configuration python so you need to add uh, double quote and so on and few declaration needs to be changed so for example here uh, i faced one issue like this one is not working because it considers that one string but python does not then all the single double quotes are missing from this side single quote or double quote and so on so earlier we also faced some issue uh, that we fixed because of the same issue but okay let's move to the theming part so in order to do theming again i'm going to uh, go to our configuration file and scroll down <coughs> here where is our github okay so from here i'm going to copy this thing so text label help a color label color primary secondary and so on so before we go that you can see this is blue blue this one is blue all the buttons are blue and so on let me paste it here save it and close it and restart superset server now it is rebooted let's refresh the page okay so now everything is refreshed you can see this color is changed to orange so you can even configure this over color and so on because everything is available in here documentation but you can see now everything is like changed to orange red this one is changed the highlight setting is changed whatever is configured accordingly it is going to take from this configuration file and for more details you can go to this place where you can file all the things and you can specify okay what color you need to specify wherever and warning alert success info everything you can specify from here and then it will be totally customized as per your configuration so probably in next video i'll talk about backup and further configuration so this is going to be second so this is going to be a series where even we will create a report we will configure it and everything so if you like do like share and subscribe thanks for watching bye